Hey! Cheers, hey. everybody. Hey, cheers to you guys Man, out there. We made it. We made it, bro. We made it through the week, everybody. Hallelujah. Mmm. It is Friday. It's Friday, thank goodness. That's right. It's about 2 o'clock yep. Eastern Standard. That's it right. is time for Fun Day Friday, guys. Gosh darn right. Make sure you smash that share button. we got a good one for you. What are you doing today, Chef John? Uh, I'm going to be doing some skewers, but I've got a little a little twist on my skewers that I'm going to be showing skewers? everybody. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Then. Okay, I like that. I'm going to make us a couple of Micheladas using that new uh, Rectech hot sauce real quick. Okay, let's do that. Um, uh, but we're also going to be doing uh, some loaded uh, hot fries. Yes, sir. Utilizing mm -hmm. the brand new hot sauces. That's right. Available at Rectech.com. Oh, yeah. Look at that. that you got good. a nice that little rim good. right there. That a little nice good. little rim that job. That's good. So, if you guys didn't know, uh, we enjoy Micheladas around here. Now, Micheladas essentially tomato juice and beer. Yeah. But you've got to Rectechify it. Give me my ice. Give me my ice. It's right back there behind you. But you got to Rectechify it. Okay? You gotta make it a little bit, a little special. So that's what we're doing today. Specializing it. Uh, making a special mess. Specializing. All right, so we got our glasses. We got them rimmed yeah. with some Ron's Screaming Pig Rub. Yeah. Okay. Delicious. Delicious. That Screaming Pig Rub is gonna give us a nice little, nice little bite. Let me bite into this. Now, hand me a couple of beers couple out of beers. the 20 quart icer cooler, sir. Check out that icer cooler. Keeping those delicious little beers cold there. Are these uh, twist tops? Give me that pop in there. Ooh, big guy. You got a little pop in there? Got a little pop in there. Oh, look at you. Okay, prepared. All right, and again, guys, we need you to smash that share button. We're having a good time out here on Friday. All right. Give me three seconds to do it. Three, three two, two, one. Smash it! Okay, so you need you a crisp Hispanic lager. Oh, okay. Hispanic lagers are the only ones that do. Modelo mm -hmm. uh, also works really, really, really well. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this in yeah, here. I'm just going to duplicate what you do. Go ahead and pour it in there. Okay. Okay. We got some of this Matt's Louisiana hot sauce. Ooh, do it, We're Matt. Go ahead and put about a teaspoon in there. Okay. 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 Then we'll take some of our tomato juice. You can use all kinds of tomato juice. V8. Oh, okay. Campbell's makes a really good tomato juice. You can also use that Dirty Girl uh, Bloody Mary mix. Ooh, I like Works that. really, really well. Okay. We'll take a little bit of the lime. A little bit of lime juice. Mmm. Okay. Take our stir here. Don't stir it too much because it's got some um, carbonation in there. Do you like extra? Yeah, I like a little extra. You like a little extra in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that is a Clamata, everybody. Use it, utilizing that Matt's Hot Louisiana sauce. Cheers to you guys. That's going to get me right on this Friday. Oh, that's good. That's good right there, Jody. Mm -hmm. Tasty, tasty. All right, let's get all this mess out of here. Okay. All right, everybody. So, Chef John, you got a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do some skewers, guys. Now, everybody's done kebabs before. Everybody knows how to do skewers. Mine are gonna be a little different. I'm gonna be using some pineapple, but right? Chef, and Chef shrimp. John, you've got you know a different um, motto when it comes do. to doing skewers from everybody else. I do. Well, so most people when they do kebabs traditionally, <clears throat> and we know how that goes. You take the skewer, you soak it in water, then you. Wait, 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 wait. Soak it in water. Yeah, soak it in water. Why in the world would you soak a kebab in water? Well, you don't a wood want, kebab? A wood skewer, yeah. You don't want it to burn. So you're going to need it to uh, absorb as much water as possible. So that way, as it dries Very out, cool. it won't burn. Yeah, I didn't even know that. that. A little, little chef trick. tip? A little chef trick. Uh, <clears throat> so the thing is that none of that stuff that you put on, so you put the peppers, the onions, the shrimp, the steak, the chicken, whatever you want in your kebabs. Yum. But y'all, I see most people mix it all up on their stick. Now. None of that stuff's going to cook at the same temperature. Chick chicken's oh. going to be done at a different temperature than your steak. Your steak's going to be done at a different temperature okay. than your shrimp. So what I like to do, an alternative, is to cook everything that's similar together. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So all the pineapples on one skewer, that's right. all your shrimp on one skewer, that's right. all your vegetables on one skewer, Yes. all separated. Yeah, all separated. Okay. And that way, they, when they're done cooking, you can pull them off each individually, and that way you can separate them evenly okay. on everybody's plate. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty Very cool. Very good chef tip. Pretty cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we spun that wheel of Rectech last week. Yeah, we did. We gave away what? A shirt by T-shirt? Mm -hmm. We gave yeah. away an amazing Rectech T-shirt. Yeah. I know the winner's name. We're going to announce that winner's name in just a little bit. That's right. But, ladies and gentlemen, you have to stay tuned. Yep. We're also giving something away at the end of this show. Yep. Hopefully, it's a grill. We spin the wheel every show, and we give something away. That's right. So, make sure you stay tuned. We got 
We need a hundred likes on the show, ladies and gentlemen. This is that's the only way we get paid. Yeah. Please. If we don't get a hundred likes uh, and at least fifty shares, we don't get paid for the show. Help us. We just it, we just came to work that's and right. we for didn't free. get paid for free. For free. For free. Uh, so make sure that you like this video. We've got to get at least a hundred likes and make sure you share this video for us for Chef John and I. That's right. Now we want to spend a send a special shout out to Chef Greg who is in Lehigh, Utah. Chef Greg digging out of the snow, getting <laughs> ready for that Saturday Academy that's out there right. in Lehigh. That's they right. They still have one date available, so make sure you check that out at rectech.com um, and while you're there go ahead and sign up for the newsletter that's the only way for you to find out about new academy dates uh, when we're announcing academy dates for next year oh, when scratch and dent sales are going on but we've got one locally right here in Evans uh, so if you're looking for a heck of a deal come on down 4301 Evans Sulox Road Evans Georgia that's right. um, and look for that uh, beautiful big rectech sign all right Jody so I've got my pineapple sliced up. Now everyone knows how to take the pineapple off. So the next stage for me is I'm going to take my skewers. Mm, man, this, I'm going to get a lot of y'all. This right here is heaven. And I'm just going to skewer. That Ron's has got me a little burn on my lips. I like That's that. That's okay. I like that. I'm going to go ahead and skewer this whole pineapple. Now I like to put two skewers through most of the stuff that I do because it's going to help it uh, not roll around. If you guys have ever had a problem with all of your stuff just flip flopping. See now and it's, it's easier nice, to turn that nice. way too, yeah, right, Chef? Much easier to turn. Much easier. So two skewers straight through, right? I'm gonna be cooking everything on the bullseye. What pellets are you using, baby? I'm using those Rectech Ultimate Blend pellets, guys. Perfect blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory. And the best way to get to those really, really high temperatures. Alright, so we got these skewers. We're gonna season these up with a little bit of Chef John Soul Powder. Ooh. And then they're gonna go straight on the grill. Often imitated never do forget. That's it. Jody, we hit me with a little seasoning on there? I hit you right in the face. I love it. All right. Beautiful. And what uh, temperature you got to set at, Chef John? I got to set at 400 degrees. I've already got a couple of them on there. You can see it. Get in there, shirt. Shoot, yeah. How good are these things? Right? Got a little char on there. This is going to make short work out of this pineapple. But really, we're not trying to cook this pineapple to where it gets soft. We're trying to get a little bit of caramel caramelization going on uh, with all the sugar that's in there. Once we get it caramelized, we're going to go ahead and pull that off. Now, uh, besides Chef John's soul powder, uh, is yes. there any other seasoning here? I'll hit the top of that. Is there Please. any other seasoning uh, that you would season up that pineapple with? You can hit it with whatever you like. Uh, Asian Persuasion would be really oh, good. Oh, that's good. Um, honey Rib Rub, I've that's actually good. put that on. Um, pineapple, it's really good too. Uh, but yeah, you're only limited by your imagination when it comes to our rubs and sauces. Okay, so now that we have our pineapple on, I went ahead and did some of these a little oh, earlier. okay. Right. You've already got them ready already? Got them ready to go. So we got some delicious ribeye. Yeah. Now look, this is the traditional ones, right? This is what everybody's kebab normally looks like, right? right. You got some fruit, some vegetables, some shrimp, some steak. Now all that's going to cook at different temperatures. So my alternative Finish, is, yeah, yeah my, my alternative is go ahead and just do all your steak on one, right? And you consistent sizes. Consistent that sizes. That's right. Time. Do all your seafood on one. Can you get that sharp? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then do all your vegetables on one, right? It's going to make your life a lot easier. I promise you that, right? So we got these all skewered up. We're going to throw these on while Jody's doing his thing. Shoot, Jeff. All right, so I've had some frozen French fries heating up in the RT 1070, 450 degrees for about an hour, okay? They're nice and ready and uh, almost crispy. So what we're going to do is we're going to top these with some of that Max Louisiana hot sauce available at rectech.com. We're going to put some of that on here, okay? That's just going to spicy these bad boys up, okay? Oh, yeah, you can hear that stuff warming up and sizzling already right now. We're going to top them with some bacon that we cooked on the Rectech. 400 degrees for about an hour on the Rectech cooking mat. Took it off, let it cool, chopped it up right here in front of you. Then we're going to hit it with some of that seasoning, some of that Ron's Screaming Pig Rub. Again, oh, yeah. we wanted these bad boys to be spicy. That's why they're called Hot Fries, Daniel. Shout out Daniel, he wanted us to do some hot fries. He likes hot fries. So we got some Ron Screaming Pig Rub on there. And then of course, we just gotta cover them. And the only thing that hot fries deserve to be covered in, and that's cheese. Oh, of course my love that's is good. cheese, but. So we'll cover these up. And we'll put them back in, and it's only gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes for that cheese to melt. Put a little bit more of that hot sauce on there. And again, if you got any of that Frank's Red Hot, or so that Texas Beat, just go ahead and throw it in the trash. Go ahead and head to rectech.com right now and pick up that Matt's Louisiana hot sauce because that is your new favorite hot sauce. I promise. All right, this half pan is going back in the 1070. 
like I said, for about 10 to 15 minutes. And we're gonna melt everything down now. We got some corn heating up for later, ladies and gentlemen. We got some leftover beans heating up for later, ladies and gentlemen. We got some leftover pulled pork heating up. We're gonna be doing the ultimate nachos at the end of the show, so make sure you stay tuned. Ultimate nachos are always a showstopper. Always a showstopper. But if, uh, if there's any questions or comments, Daniel, is there anything in the comments section? Anybody out there uh, have any uh, good questions? If y'all have anything, please put them in the comments section. Let us know where you're watching from. That's right. Again, we need 100 likes gotta get so it. we get paid for the show. Y'all got to right. get us paid. So I'm going to show you guys how to do these skewers real quick. right? I just seasoned them with some heifer dust. So now you could use any steak that you'd like. We're using ribeye today. Oh. Shout out Jerry. We got us some nice ribeyes. Right? So all we're going to well, do is... Well, you cook it for yourself. Yeah. We're just going to cut these into strips. Right? Okay. Super easy. Easy peasy, baby. Right? Shout out everybody watching. We love y'all. We thank y'all. That's right. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Now, you, uniformity is key when it comes to skewers, guys. So you want to try to make your slice as even as possible. And then you can see Chef John, like you said, Chef Tip, your wooden skewers, soak them in water. Soak that way water. they do not burn. That's it right there. He must be liking this hot sauce stuff because we got some folks already asking for some bigger bottles. Oh, okay. I like it. I don't know if they could take a bigger bottle of that uh, Ralph's Reaper sauce. Yeah, that Ralph's Reaper a little goes yeah, a I long have. way. Right, so we're just going to skewer this thing straight through. Right? And this is going to help it cook pretty fast and nice and even. Right? Yum. We'll do a couple more. Skewer it straight through. Now, what's uh, what other steak could we use in this scenario, Chef John? Um, anything that you really would like there, Jenny. Um, I skirt steak actually works really good because it's super long, right? So you can cut it into thin pieces and wrap it through, so it's nice and looped through. Uh, I like that. Or you could do uh, pinwheels. Pinwheels would be great too. Good call. That would on be that. absolutely mm -hmm. amazing. That would be great. That Shoot would be up. great. Uh, but you could do this with anything. Chicken is also really going to do this with, Jody. Fish is kind of tough. Fish is tough. And I was just going to say, if you're going to do fish, I would usually stick to shrimp or you're going to have to stick to a hearty fish. So we're talking like the groupers. Uh, Hardee's does have some really good fish, dude. Does Hardee's have some good yeah, fish? Yeah, that flavor fish sandwich at Hardee's is legit. Shout out Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. We love y'all. Oh, you're so funny, buddy. All right, so I got these things skewered now. We're going to go ahead and season them up with some heifer dust, and then we're going to throw those things yeah. on the grill. Make Super sure you easy. follow Chef John on all social media, at Chef John Pinnell. That's Remember, right. Chef Greg is in Utah today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow only, so y'all head on over to the Lehigh facility so y'all can say hey to Chef Greg. He yeah. is at Chef Greg Muller. He's probably got some cool stuff on his social right now. You know he A does. A good reason to follow him. You know he does. Uh, you can follow me on all social media, at BBQDADJODY, Barbecue Dad Jody. Hey, John, what's the knife what kind of knife are you using there, Chef John? This is a Victory Knox knife. Yeah. Shout out Matt Miller. Matt Miller, thank you so much for hooking us up. Uh, you can find these anywhere, guys. You can order them online. Yep. I go check out their website Victory for Knox. sure. Victory Knox. They actually a little secret about them. They were the originator of the Swiss Army knife. So they've been making knives for a long time. Shoot, yeah. All right, you got a little heifer dust charity. We're gonna sprinkle it on here. What did you just say? What did you just call me? A little heifer dust charity. Oh. That used to be my my nickname in middle school. I know it was. Tommy right out here. He wanted to know, could you? Skip yeah. Yeah. If it has a tight center, you can skewer it. That's that's how it goes. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Jeez, All right, so we're going to put these straight on the bullseye. And again, the bullseye is the most direct fire pellet grill on the market. That can grow, get, the bullseye axe can get up to 1,000 degrees, that's Chef it. John. That's it, Jody. We're going to turn this bad boy up just a little bit because he's, he's in and out of that grill. He's opening right. and closing the lid. He's losing a lot of heat. Um, but do we have any other good questions? Y'all put your questions in the comment section down below. Daniel, hit us, buddy. Uh, Jim wanted to know, what was the What's seasoning up, Jim? that you used around the top of the drinks? Right, so the seasoning around the top of the drinks, I'm still feeling it. Is that Ron's Screaming Pig Rub? That's right. Any of those Micheladas, you got to have some spice in it. So that Ron's Screaming Pig Rub, it's got some sugars in it as well. So it is a little sweet, mm -hmm. but it's got that heat. So that's my go-to uh, for our Michelada uh, seasoning around the rim. So Dude, tasty, I, tell, I, I wish I had a straw. Because <laughs> the ice is just getting in the way. Right? Is it getting in the way? Yeah. It was. It is absolutely delicious. But guys, let us know where you're watching from. It's refreshing. Mm. Cheese and crackers. And what you guys are eating today. All right. So what do you got coming up next, Jerry? All right. So I'm, oh, these uh, our hot fries are pretty much ready Ooh. already. Check them out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those things. Those things look nice. Shout out Daniel Browning. He wanted these. Whatever Daniel wants, he gets. <laughs> see that there and then again these are hot fries 
So they've got two layers of hot sauce. They're going to need a third layer of hot sauce right there on That's top. That's it. That's it. Those things look great. They got a nice little crunch. I pulled them off a little early, okay. um, but I didn't still want them to go without eat, getting eaten. Mm. Those are great. Absolutely delicious, Jay. But I'm going to get us one of those uh, potato presses so okay. I can make us our own french fries. I like that. You know? I like that. But guys, if you ever need us, make sure that you reach out to us. You can give us a call at 706-922-0890. We have people waiting by the phones to answer your questions. They all own the grills too. So test them. Give them a call. Test them <laughs> out. See how they're doing. Yeah. All right, so give us time and temp again on your skewers, mm -hmm. and again, it's just based on how big you cut your stuff. That's exactly gentlemen. right. If you want to make it smaller, it's going to take a little bit less time. If you want to make it bigger, it's going to take a little bit more time. Okay. Oh, perfect. I couldn't have said it any better myself. But relatively, it's going to take about fifteen to twenty minutes once we get the skewers on there. Always a good tip: make sure your grill's hot before you put anything on there. Let it come up to temperature. Uh, temp. There are a lot of people out there who are just putting their stuff on there cold. Try not to do that. Yep. If you can avoid that, try not to. Yep. yep, shout out to everybody that doesn't clean their fire pot. Now is a great time. Now that we are saying it and you are thinking about it, you need to remember to clean out your fire pot. Remember to follow the four to five rule. Yep. About every four to five cooks, clean out your fire pot. Throw that ash down there at the bottom. About every four to five bags of pellets that you empty into your hopper, let your grill run itself empty to reduce the wood dust that's at the bottom of your auger that's tube. Great too. Those two maintenance tips, ladies and gentlemen, are going to save you time and effort. Make sure you change the foil on your drip tray. Yep. And those three things are going to save you. Yeah, every Promise time. You. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're, and we're getting ready to get into that season, season, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you're following us on all social media, RecTech. And make sure you go to RecTech.com, scroll to the bottom of any of those pages to sign up to become an insider. Because it's about to be barbecue season and we're going to be doing some crazy, amazing, beautiful, tasteful stuff. And I would hate for you, yeah, I'd hate for you guys to miss out. Alright, so we're going to start building these nachos. Let's go. Because we need your shrimp. Yeah. And we need your steak. Yes. To make up those nachos. Get ready to come off of there. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to, these are going to be the trash can nachos. Explain to the people, Jerry. So trash can nachos, essentially, we're going to give all of credit to Guy Fieri. Ooh. Shout out, Guy. These are your, this is what you invented. Oh, Lord. God, every time I put these on the internet, people are like, ooh, Guy Fieri invented that. No, no, he didn't. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think he invented it either. We're going to do, we're going to do it our own way. That's right. Start it. That's right. Uh, so essentially, it's, it's nachos in uh, a cylinder. Ooh. Okay, and then you remove the cylinder and eat the nachos. Trash can nachos. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay? So you always start. With a base of chips. You've got to have a base yeah. of chips. Yeah. Okay, because we're putting so much stuff into this trash can yeah. that we're going to need something to kind of soak it all up. Soak it up. Okay, so what we do is, is we get that Rectech butcher paper yep. and we line a pan with it to get it all nice and ready, okay? I like it. And then what we'll do is we'll find a nice center. Okay, right there. Logo out. Shout out Shiner Beers for making our trash can nachos for us. Okay. AKA okay. their beer bucket. Their beer bucket. Okay. That's right. And all we did was is we took a, a can opener and we opened up the bottom with a can it. opener. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. How smart are we? Right. Um, <laughs> we just got to wait on uh, Chef Stone's stuff. Uh, we also got some stuff heating up, of course. We've got that queso. You got to have that queso. Got to have the queso. Okay. You got to have refried beans. Got to have refried beans. Today we ain't got refried beans. What we got? Pork and beans. You That's right, baby. We throw pork and beans in these nachos. Okay. Corn is extra. I felt, I felt a little corny today, so I wanted to put some corn in these bad boys. Okay. The trash can nachos are anything that you have at the house right. that you want to throw in there. Right. You know, we've got some extra bacon here. Right. We're going to throw it in there. That's right. You know, I got some lettuce over here. We're going to throw it in there. Yeah. I got some pickled jalapenos. Yeah. We're going to throw it in there. You know what I'm saying? We got some shredded cheese. We're going to throw it in there. We got some hot sauce. We're going to throw it in there. You're only limited by your imagination when it comes to nachos. And this is a great dish that you can do with the kids. Because yep. you can prep it ahead of time and then have all the kids start adding all of their favorite stuff to the nachos. Well, it's a really good time. A really cool effect and a cool thing to do, which my parents never did, was uh, to cover <laughs> your uh, dinner table in the Rectech butcher paper. That's a great idea. Okay, and just make the make dinner table nachos. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, and it's absolutely fun for the yeah. kids. Mm -hmm. The kids eat without a plate. They think they're doing something absolutely cool, but again, they're they're getting nutrition. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, buddy. All right, so we've got all of our accoutrement. You want to, you know, you want to set yourself up for success. <laughs> Cilantro, pickled jalapeno. Fresh jalapenos are a little too spicy. We like the pickle because again, we like to throw some of that juice uh, up in there as well, right. baby. 
I like fresh onions. Um, don't like. I like raw, fresh onions for sure. You gotta throw those in there. Everybody's gonna pick on us, John, because of the lettuce. Most folks say lettuce does not go in nachos. What? I call those people liars. Yeah, I do too. That's what I do. You gotta eat, treat your body right, you know what I'm saying? Get that green up in you. But uh, Daniel, we got any other good questions out there? Where are the folks watching from? I love Let us know. know. Again, we gotta get to 100 likes, everybody. Come on, everybody. So make sure you like this video That's so right. we can get to 100 likes That's so we right. can give something away. Yeah, let's now, go. we're gonna announce a winner. Always. We spun that Wheel of Rack Tech last week. Yep. I know who it is, sure. Bob remembered it. It's a very common name. I don't have to bust out my phone. <laughs> That's right. Jesus Christ, is back there going, I yeah. know who it is. Yeah. Uh, but the winner of last week's uh, Rec Tech t-shirt, you yep. get to pick out your t-shirt, sir. Whatever t-shirt you want. Or ma'am. Or ma'am. Uh, but the winner is, John, give me a drum roll. David King from hey, Facebook. Thank you so much, David. David. King. Thank you. We really do appreciate you. Shout out to uh, everybody tuning in from Facebook and YouTube. It's a t-shirt. I, I said that. Yeah, you said it. It's a, a t-shirt of his choice and his size. That's right, buddy. He doesn't have to get the size of him. He can get the size for somebody else. That's right. Give it as a gift. That's Absolutely. what I love. Them. I love um, that. But again, we give something away every Funday Friday, ladies and gentlemen. And all you got to do is sign up for the newsletter That's at rectech.com. That's it. So that way you know when we're cooking and where we're cooking. And then you got to do what we say. Yeah. Which is usually ask a question. Love this video. Share this video. And ask a question in the comment section. Yeah, that's, that's all it. you got to do. That's and it. if you do those things early, yeah, then you, you, don't might, you don't have to worry about it. Hey, you're good. You know what I'm saying? You're good. But yeah, a status update, Chef John. All right, here we, we go. Come on. So tune us in yes. the folks that are just now right, tuning in. So I cranked the bullseye up to 475. Right. We're going in and out. But look at how great this stuff is looking right here. Now the shrimp, I, put, I marinated it in some tiger sauce, uh, some Jerry's Asian persuasion. Well, the little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. I'm going to stay in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. And it's already looking great. We've probably got about four minutes left on that. But the steak is looking good. It's at a nice medium to rareish state. So we're going to let this stay on for, I think we'll be done in about four minutes, Jenny. Everything should be coming off. Right? And that's what I'm saying. Everything is going to be done at a different temperature. So the shrimp will probably actually going to come off first, and then the steak, and then the vegetables. That's how we're going to work. Great, great, great. Again, we're making all of this stuff for the inside of our trash, trash can nachos. Can nachos. I've already got some ground beef. You can use back ground beef or chorizo, of course. That's right. uh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to start doing a couple of, doing a, just a little bit of stuff in here mm -hmm. to keep it rolling. But yeah, again, you can use ground fingers. beef or chorizo. Okay, that'll be, I'm a huge fan of just pouring meat in here. Uh, that is my go-to when I'm doing these trash can nachos. Okay. We got some pico de gallo, some yep. fresh pico de gallo. That's we, good. We made this this morning That's with fresh good. jalapeno from the Rec That Garden. That's right. Fresh salato. They're wondering where you guys are competing this year. Well, John. Well. Let them know. Well. I don't know. No, we're not, well, we're going to be at Boss Hog. Boss Hog. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. We'll be at Boss Hog this year. Jody and I are definitely competing. I'll be there too. Oh, Tyler, uh, be there. Okay. Well, Chief, what's up? If it, Chief, it, Chief will be joining. He'll be there on up. Friday. I'll be there to set up. He'll help set up okay. on Friday, maybe Thursday, but he will make not sure, be there the whole sure weekend good, for sure. Yep. But definitely come out and check us Waynesburg, out. Waynesburg, Georgia. Waynesburg, Georgia, just a short hop from. Oh, uh, Evans and Augusta Sherps hometown. Trey, you want to come with us? It's uh, May. I think it's the weekend of May 13th. So, guys, put that in your calendar. Right. Uh, we'll be down there uh, for sure. I know we're going to be there. Now, there's some other areas that we're probably going to be hitting up uh, in the country this year, but you're definitely going to have to go and sign up for the newsletter to find out about way. that. That's the only way they're going to find out. That's the only way, Jody. All right, everybody. Again, a layer of everything. I put. I put. Uh, onions, I put jalapenos, I put cilantro, I put pico de gallo, we got some meat in there, we also got some delicious bacon in there. Yes. But you can't leave without the hot sauce. You gotta throw a little bit of hot sauce layer in there. Do you have a favorite hot sauce out of the hot sauces we have so far? Uh, it's gotta be that Matt's hot Louisiana hot sauce. I like oh it. man, I love that. That stuff is, this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. It really is very, good. It's got a very peppery flavor to it. It's really good. I'm I'd like to throw up a warning sign for one of them, and it's called the Ralph's Reaper sauce. It's hot. Man. It's got Reaper in the title, though. You it's, know it's going to be hot. So, growing up as a kid, things with three X's yeah. usually mean something pretty good. Okay? It's good. Not this sauce. Oh, it's good. This is very dangerous. It's still good, though. No, I remember being a kid seeing three X's on that little black box and shoving it in the TV. Oh, and yeah. Some cool stuff coming up on it. Cool stuff. But... Equally as cool as the hot sauce. Oh, it is equally definitely as cool. hot. Very, very hot. It's made uh, with those Reaper peppers, guys. Definitely will get you going. So, out of Ralph's Garden himself. That's right. So for all of you out there who need a little more spice in your life, that's definitely going to take care of it for okay. you. Okay. Layer of cheese. Yeah, Got to get that queso in there. That queso in there. 
Yeah, Daniel, what you got? Great question from Rich here. Uh, with the new bar pod on the BTAX, should you be emptying that as much as the other drums? Oh, that's a great question. I would say yes. About every 45 cooks, you're going to want to go ahead and dump that out. Make sure there's plenty of room in there for those fresh pellets. Yeah, the key to that is making sure when you dump it that it is cooled down. You don't want to dump it hot. Little chef tip for you. Oh, very good. Yeah, you never want to dump a 1,000 degree fire yeah. uh, into that ash dump system. No. You never want to do that. No, Not recommended. No. All right, Jay, shrimp are coming off, big guy. Yes, now we're going to get to the big load. Oh. All right, mm -hmm. the let's big load, load of load. protein. Let's load it up, right? Let's load, load it around. up. But again, these beautiful shrimp, Chef John took about him about 15 minutes to cook all of this stuff. Yeah. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You guys saw it from start to finish. Yeah. They're lucky yeah. enough. You guys did. And this is something that's super easy, guys. If you ever forget about dinner, you're like, oh man, I totally forgot I was supposed to cook dinner tonight. This is something you can stop by the store, grab all these ingredients. It's going to be under 30 bucks. You'll have some food for you. Under 30 bucks and under 30 minutes, man. That's it. That's it. Shoot, Jeff. And what, uh, remind the people what pellets we're using again today? The ultimate blend pellet, Jenny. Perfect yeah. blend of red oak, white oak, and hickory. Yum. So delicious. I'll go ahead and get rid of those shrimp for you, big guy. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I'll go ahead and get rid of All right, so the steak's going to be a couple more minutes on that shrimp. That shrimp I mean, on right that steak. It'll be fine. All right, let's go ahead and get some more. Be good. Big guy, man. I like how you're building this. I like where your head's at. I like cilantro. Fresh. You got to get that fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh. Shout out to the Rec Tech Garden for giving us all that we need. Pickled jalapenos. Jay, I think this michelada gets better the uh, longer it sits. You, I'm telling you. It's, it it's good. It's real good. It's in your system. Yes, we're going to put lettuce in our nachos. Yes. Yes. Yes, haters. Why wouldn't we? Put your hate in the comment section. Now, we're going to come back with that queso cheese. Let's go. But while you guys are out there hating, go ahead oh, yeah. and smash that share button. We'll give you three seconds yeah. to do it. Yep. Three, two, one. Smash it! Share this all over the internet. Man, we also need some of that Mexican crema. Oh, you need yeah, that Mexican buddy. crema in your life. Jeez, and crackers. Oh, oh Jerry, steak's coming off. Oh, steak is coming off. Uh, we just seasoned that steak too with oh, pepper wow. dust. Men's pepper dust, part of that rub and sauce bundle. You got to oh, wow. give it a little pack. Got to give it a little pack or it's just going to be nice. It's going to be too loose. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, no, we need it tight. We need there. it nice and tight yep. so it burns right. Yes, that's right. Nice and tight until it burns right. right. Here, will you give me some protein, big I guy? I sure will. <laughs> you, know, you ready to get it on there? I hate there? running the show. I'll, I'll slide it right in there. Look at that. You got some big meat coming through. <laughs> You're sliding it on through, That's shoving right. it on in there, that big meat. Big meat energy right here, Jody. I'll throw a couple of heaping handfuls of beef in there. Oh! All right. That's enough, Chef. Okay. I'm just going to get Pico. ready. go. More cilantro. Pickled. Pickled jappies. Now, I do have some uh, more onions over here, Jody. Some peppers. Ah! Putting a, bunch of, putting a bunch of vegetables in here. You can... If you want to, you can try. I know Trey, he's a fan of the cooked veggies. Yeah, yeah. Again, you need the cheese to kind of hold it cheese. all together. Oh, uh, Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm throwing more shrimp on there. Shrimp on. Oh, yeah. For those of you who did not know, Jenny's a, a lover of the shrimp. Yep. Just reminds me of, of life. <laughs> how how you know life can come at you fast. It comes and, fast. You know if you're not looking out. That's right. You're, you're, you'll wind up in the net. That's it. That's what I don't want to wind up in. Life come life goes fast, buddy. You got to take time to here, slow, slow down. Cheese and crackers. Right? You're throwing stuff in my face. Watch out. All right. All right. You get getting a little too high right here, big guy. Are we getting high? Tall. Get a little tall, tall in the here. tall in the bucket area. Tall in that bucket right there, boy. I like it. You do? Yeah. Maybe stack it up. Yeah, stack it up. All right, we're almost ready, everybody. Remember, you you stayed this far. That's right. We want you to to experience it. Oh, Nelly. Yes. All right. Yeah, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks great. It looks safe. It looks, it looks healthy. healthy. It looks healthy. It looks healthy. I'm just gonna now. I'm just gonna put this on a side right now. Here. Oh man, that'd be great. You know, get this little side meat. Side meat. 
Side meat. Very cool. Love that. A little bit of side hot sauce out yeah. here too. Yeah, a little side shrimp. Man, check that. Man, that Matt's Louisiana hot. We've been using it for a hot minute now. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. What All do you right. think? I think we spin that wheel of rectech before we open this bad boy up. Did you put bacon on there? I put bacon in there. Okay, just making sure. You want to put some more? I'll put some more in there. Yeah, put some more in there. Uh, I'll spin the wheel. You put some more bacon right. on there. All right, guys, there's two rules to the rule, the wheel of Rectech. Rule number one is you have to spin it uh, with utmost confidence in your self, a.k.a. hard as hell. And the second rule is you have to spin it to the right, all right? Okay. So we like to put it on the most expensive thing on the wheel, which is that new RTB380X. That's Bulldog. just our regular B380. No, that's, a, that's that new one, all right? Jody, count me down. Three, two, one, go! All right, round and round it goes, guys. If you want a chance to win this, all you gotta do is like this video, share this video, and then go in the comment section and ask a question. That's all you gotta do. It will be announced, reading that question and announcing the winner next Friday. So what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, oh you pick up seasoning. Shoot, yeah. With all that new stuff that's coming out, guys. So, Chef John, if you were to pick a seasoning, which one would you pick? Definitely the Chef John Soul Powder. That stuff is absolutely delicious on whatever it is you're cooking. Yeah. Yeah. What would you, which one would you pick, bud? Oh, man. I, I don't know. It's a toss-up between that Jody's Asian Persuasion. Right, which is delicious. And the Jody's Asian Persuasion. <laughs> right. I'm so, yeah. telling you, those seasonings, they so really good. hit it home. Yeah, they're really good. You know? They're good. John and I do not make a commission off of those, so. No. No. So, you know, but still, still buy them. Still buy them. Still buy them. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right, big guy. So we've announced the winner. We've spun the wheel. We've educated yep. the people on delicious food. All yep. our left is to do is to like eat some fries and oh, dump some nachos, right? <laughs> fries right there. I'm kind of worried about this, man. I don't want this volcano to, to erupt. I do. I love erupting volcanoes, okay. bro. All right. Well, we That's need to get to at least 100 likes. Do we Where have we 100 at, likes? Daniel? Where are we at? Dude, we're actually closing in on 150. Okay. Whoa! Yeah. I was worried that we were going to take us off. So much. We Thank goodness. Y'all. Now, did you spray the inside of that with Pam? Was I supposed to do that? Dang it. Dang it. It's all going to stick. This is great. All right, everybody. <laughs> Count us down, Chef John. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! the layers the layers Man, take a picture everybody it's gonna last longer than this am i right <laughs> that looks amazing you too amazing. can make this concoction all you got to do is go to rectech.com pick mm -hmm. yourself up a delicious rectech pellet grill the greatest yeah. grill known to man I love it. that's all you gotta do that's it that's it Man, congratulations Man, it looks to great. Mr. David King. David King, he was the winner of, of last week's spin of the Wheel of Rec Tech. That's right. Waited on a t-shirt. He gets to pick a t-shirt of his choice. That's right. Just put it up there on top of those bad boys. That'll make a great picture. Um, if you are in or around the Lehigh, Utah area, please go by and see Chef Greg. He is at the uh, Lehigh, Utah headquarters. That's right. Uh, 5045 West Hudson Way in beautiful Sweet 10, Lehigh, Utah. Make sure you go see him. They're having a Rec Tech Academy this weekend. Um, what else, Chef John? We got $200 off grills and That's packages. Right. That's right. Um, you'll be somewhere on Saturday. That's right. We are going to be uh, trucks and more, trucks and more, uh, helping out with the Jaws of Life demonstration. demonstration. That's wow. right for the local uh, counties around. They're sending all their uh, EMS What's and up, first Dave? responders are coming out to learn how to use the Jaws of Life. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I'm honor and a pleasure yeah. to be invited out there to, to, to hang out with the Jaws of Life. Always, Jesus always. Christ. Hopefully, I'm making some friends. That's what do you right. got? Well, besides making friends, what else are you guys going to be making out there? Uh, we're going to do a sl uh, what are we, not slaw dogs. We're going to be doing uh, Q dogs. Cute dogs, little Man, hot dogs with delicious. some uh, barbecue on top, some little uh, barbecue sauce. Definitely, definitely, it's gonna be a good time. After we get done uh, with soccer shots in the morning, John Dillon's mm -hmm. soccer team, Max is starting again, this, uh, starting it up this year. We'll come out there and, and see you guys. Hopefully, it's it. not done by then. Yeah, hopefully it's not. But guys, please make sure you're following us on all social media because we have amazing content coming out. We're gonna be in some amazing places, helping out some amazing people. We want to share that with you guys. Yeah, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. We do, we do this stuff all the time. All the time. Don't forget, we cook Wednesdays live in Lehigh, That's right. as well as Augusta, Georgia, at 12 p.m. Every Wednesday, we got that meeting at three. That meeting you're, at three. You're next week. I'm next week, so definitely come hang out with me next Wednesday, 12 to one. I'll be right here, upstairs, at the Worldwide Headquarters for Rec Tech, and we're gonna be slinging something delicious. I'm gonna keep it a secret, but you're not gonna wanna miss this one. Mm. Get you a chip, man. Okay. From everybody here at the Rec Tech Worldwide Headquarters, God bless you. God bless the United States. And we'll see you. 
at the Rec Tech. Well, that's wrong now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm.